Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your computer cannot connect to another console session on the remote computer and that it is because you already have a console session in progress. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what we are going to start with is opening up the start menu type in sysdm.cpl best match to come back with sysdm.cpl right above control panel item go ahead and left click on that to open it up and now we are in this new window I'm just going to scroll it over to the middle of the screen I'm going to go select the remote tab and then we're going to select allow remote connections to this computer and you also want to make sure the corresponding entry underneath where it says allow connections from only computers running the remote desktop with network level authentication is also checkmarked in there so make sure that is selected there another thing you can do here as well would be to select users so select that so you can see this is our current user account here this is already has access if you were trying to access an account that did not have access listed here we're going to go select the add option now you want to enter in whatever user account you want to give access to if it's not the one that's already listed here as having access so I'm just going to give one example here you probably don't want to do this in your case because I'm just going to type in everyone but if you had a specific user account you want to just type that in in lieu of this place value I'm just putting here and then you would select check names and then you would enter in an object name right here and select OK so and then you would select OK again. Just wanted to give you guys an example of what it would look like. There's no other user accounts on this computer, but if you did, you might want to go ahead and just type that in instead and then go ahead and select OK. Again, would really suggest highly that you put in an actual user account you have on your computer. I was just doing that as an example for this tutorial. So once you're done with that, select apply and OK. One further thing you can try here would be to make sure that you are using the correct IP address here and you want to make sure it's the same IP address as the remote computer so we're going to go ahead and just show you guys how to do that so open up the start menu type in CMD best match to go back with command prompt right click on that and select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes now I'm going to blur this out once it actually starts coming up with information but we're going to type in IP config so again IP CON FIG hit enter on your keyboard so where it says IPv4 address, this is what it should be showing up in your case here. So if you follow all the dotted lines, there will be uh, IP address listed in here. That's the IP address that's assigned to your local network, which is assigned by the DHCP server. So go ahead and make sure that's matching up with the other end, which is important. And you might also want to consider doing uh, another command here, which would be IP config and then space forward slash flush DNS again IP config and space forward slash flush DNS as it appears on my screen hit enter your keyboard should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache once that's done what's it just closing out of here restart your computer and see if then you're able to connect back into the remote desktop so pretty straightforward process guys I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye